Poor Jill. She'll be wondering where you've got to. So much for you being a fine hound. So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and... I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you slew a morble. All the men were singing your praises. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. My brother the Phoenix. Ruler over life and death. It isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength. But you do. Every man has his duty. Ours was decided long ago, when our ancestors chose to instate the Dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the phoenix's blessing to keep our future rulers safe, no matter what. However hard it gets, I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. <coughs> Before I can do that, you need to take care of yourself. Right? I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Torgo. <laughs>